Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Life Science with KMD. Today I am going to explain about Aspergillus. Aspergillus belong to the class Ascomycetes family Aspergillaceae. Now coming to the occurrence of Aspergillus. It is a saprophytic fungi. There are 200 species of Aspergillus. They grow on decaying vegetable. On fatty media such as butter and ghee, they can grow on uh, fatty media such as butter and ghee, on uh, even starchy media such as bread and rice, and even on preserved food such as jams and jellies. Also found on rotting oranges and other fruits. Appearance of Aspergillus could be greenish or smoky patches along with um, they can grow along with mucor, rhizopus and penicillium on moist bread. Other common shades are yellow, black and blue mostly appear in a conidial stage that is imperfect stage. Very few produce Cleistotheca that is perfect stage. Economic importance of Aspergillus. There are 33 species are reported in India. In that Aspergillus orise is utilized to make alcohol. Aspergillus niger is utilized in the production of citric acid and other organic acid. Some species yield antibiotics. Culture of Aspergillus niger and Aspergillus orise yield a wide range of enzymes which are used for industrial fermentation. Diseases caused by Aspergillus decay tobacco, they can able to decay tobacco and cigar. They spoil nuts, uh, nuts, bread and other foodstuffs. In humid atmosphere, it grows on leather and fabrics sometimes produce poisonous substances called mycotoxins aspergillus cause number of diseases called aspergillosis example in case of humans on their ear it cause oomycosis otomycosis mycelium is well developed structure <clears throat> made up of interwoven mass, interwoven masses, branched and septate hyphae. Hyphae are branched and form a mat on the substratum. Some hyphae lie superficially on the substratum and other penetrate deeply to observe food. Reproduction. Uh, it could be both asexual and sexual reproduction. In case of asexual reproduction, it is due to conidophore. The cells vigorously grow and mycelium become thick walled. The thick walled T shaped cells called foot cells. Each foot cell produces erect branch called conidophore. Now, the length of the conidophore is around 2.5 millimeter swells at the tip and form a globus called vesicle. The lumen of the vesicle is continuous with upper part of the conidiophore. From the surface of the vesicle, tubular cells grow outward called sterigmata or fillets. Fillets cover the wall uh, color, uh, I mean, cover the whole surface of the vesicle. Now, how these fillets are? Fillets are produced. Development of fillets by dissolving the cell wall material, thin tubular area are formed. The cytoplasm and nucleus, mitochondria, and other organelles migrate from the vesicle to the fillets. In maturity, stage the fillets cut off from the vesicle form from the basal septum obstructions of conidium fillets are uninucleated the nucleus divide 
<coughs> by mitosis to form two daughter nuclei from two one migrate to the tip of the fillet and form first conidia the first conidia is cut off by basal septum at the fillet apex by fragmentation the fungus produce asexual spores known as conidia later develops the second conidium in the same manner this series of event repeated thus the fillets fillet continue to grow conidia one below the another the sequently chain of conidia is formed at the tip of the fillets the youngest is at the base and the oldest is at the top now what are the two advantages dispersal of uh, mature conidia in the air and proper nourishment of young conidia conidia are black green brown blue or yellow in color according to their species conidial wall is thick consists of two layer outer epispore uh, uh, and inner endospore on falling of suitable substratum each conidium germinate first produce germ tube which grow into a mycelium sexual reproduction is rare female sex organ is called ascogonium or archicarp male sex organ is called pollinidium or antheridium ascogonium or female sex organ it is small coiled septate branch terminal segment is longest and single celled called trichogyne contain 20 nuclei the trichogyne function as receptive part of female sex organ then antheridium which is a male sex organ male branch grow beside the ascogonium form the same hyphae antheridium is multinucleated plasmogamy fusion of ascogonium and antheridium takes place the tip of the antheridium fuse with trichogyne then intervening wall is dissolved the content of antheridium passes into trichogyne here the haploid phase end the male nuclei pair with the female nuclei each pair is called dicaryon and the phase is called dicaryo phase the diploid nucleus undergo three successive division the first and second division are meiosis third division is mitosis as a result eight haploid daughter nuclei forms each haploid nucleus is surrounded by cytoplasm then formation of the wall occur called ascospores these are all called as ascospores so eight ascospores are formed the wall of the asci is dissolved ascospores are released into cleistothecium then wall of the cleistothecium dk and release ascospores into the atmosphere each ascospore germinate to form mycelium Thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you